another day another story section 215 of ipc taking gift to help to recover stolen property etc whoever takes or agrees or consents to take any gratification under pretense or on account of helping any person to recover any movable property of which he shall have been deprived by any offense punishable under this code shall unless he uses all means in his power to cause the offender to be apprehended and convicted of the offense be punished with imprisonment of either description for a term which may extend to 2 years or with fine or with both section 216 of ipc harboring offender who has escaped from custody or whose apprehension has been ordered whenever any person convicted of a charge with an offense being in lawful custody for that offense escapes from such custody or whenever a public servant in the exercise of the lawful powers of such public servant orders a certain person to be apprehended for an offense whoever knowing of such escape or order for apprehension harbors or conceals that person with the intention of preventing him from being apprehended shall be punished in the manner following that is to say if a capital offense if the offense for which the person was in custody or is ordered to be apprehended is punishable with death he shall be punished with imprisonment of either description for a term which may extend to 7 years and shall also be liable to fine if punishable with imprisonment for life or with imprisonment if the offense is punishable with imprisonment for life or imprisonment for 10 years he shall be punished with imprisonment of either description for a term which may extend to 3 years with or without fine and if the offense is punishable with imprisonment which may extend to 1 year and not to 10 years he shall be punished with imprisonment of the description provided for the offense for a term which may extend to 1/4 part of the longest term of the imprisonment provided for such offense or with fine or with both offense in this section includes also any act or omission of which a person is alleged to have been guilty out of india which if he had been guilty of it in india would have been punishable as an offense and for which he is under any law relating to extradition or otherwise liable to be apprehended or detained in custody in india and every such act or omission shall for the purposes of this section be deemed to be punishable as if the accused person had been guilty of it in india exception the provision does not extend to the case in which the harbor or concealment is by the husband or wife of the person to be apprehended section 216a of ipc penalty for harboring robbers or decoits whoever knowing or having reason to believe that any persons are about to commit or have recently committed robbery or decoity harbors them or any of them with the intention of facilitating the commission of such robbery or decoity or of screening them or any of them from punishment shall be punished with rigorous imprisonment for a term which may extend to 7 years and shall also be liable to fine explanation For the purposes of this section it is immaterial whether the robbery or decoity is intended to be committed or has been committed within or without India. Exception: This provision does not extend to the case in which the harbor is by the husband or wife of the offender 216B. Definition of harbor in sections 212, 216 and 216A. Representative by the Indian Penal Code Amendment Act 1942 8 of 1942 s 3 section 217 of ipc public servant disobeying direction of law with intent to save person from punishment or property from forfeiture whoever being a public servant knowingly disobeys any direction of the law as to the way in which he is to conduct himself as such public servant intending thereby to save or knowing it to be likely that he will thereby save any person from legal punishment or subject him to a less punishment than that to which he is liable or with intent to save or knowing that he is likely thereby to save any property from forfeiture or any charge to which it is liable by law shall be punished with imprisonment of either description for a term which may extend to 2 years or with fine or with both section 218 of ipc public servant framing incorrect record or writing with intent to save person from punishment or property from forfeiture whoever being a public servant and being as such public servant charged with the preparation of any record or other writing frames that record or writing in a manner which he knows to be incorrect with intent to cause or knowing it to be likely that he will thereby cause loss or injury to the public or to any person or with intent thereby to save or knowing it to be likely that he will thereby save any person from legal punishment or with intent to save or knowing that he is likely thereby to save any property from forfeiture or other charge to which it is liable by law 
shall be punished with imprisonment of either description for a term which may extend to three years, or with fine, or with both. Section 219 of IPC Public servant in judicial proceeding corruptly making report, ETC, contrary to law. Whoever, being a public servant, corruptly or maliciously makes or pronounces in any stage of a judicial proceeding, any report, order, verdict, or decision which he knows to be contrary to law, shall be punished with imprisonment of either description for a term which may extend to seven years, or with fine, or with both. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.